Hi Grade 7! For today, our topic is Circle and Spark. And it was based on Mathematics 7, Quarter 3, Module Number 7. Hi Math Lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because Mathematics is fun! What I need to know. Here are our objectives. Number one, define and name a circle. Number two, identify the parts of a circle. And number three, illustrate a circle and the terms related to it. Radius, diameter, chord, center, arc, chord, central angle, and inscribed angle. What is it? Detective Conan and I will give you the definition of circle. A circle is a set of all points in a plane at a fixed distance from a given point called center. The circle is named by its center. Now look at this illustration. The center of a circle is point A. Therefore, we can name the circle as circle A. Now look at this illustration. The center of a circle is point S. So we can name the circle as circle S. Part of a circle. Radius. The radius of a circle is a segment that joins the center and a point on the circle. Two or more radius is called radii. Now look at this given example. I have here an umbrella. This part of an umbrella can be illustrated as a radius because it connects a point in the circle into its center. Cord. A chord is a segment whose endpoints lie on a circle. I have here a plate and a spoon. This plate represents a circle, and this spoon represents a line segment. This line segment lies its endpoint to any point in the circle. Chord. Diameter. The diameter is a chord that passes through the center of the circle. I have here an electric fan and a metal tube. This electric fan represents a circle. And here is the center. This represents a diameter. It should pass through the center. This is a diameter. This is a diameter. This is a diameter. Example number one. Look at the given illustration. Let's identify the parts of the circle. The center of the circle is point A. Therefore, the name of the circle is Circle A. There are two radii. Line segment AB and line segment AD. There are two chords. Line segment BC and line segment BD. Chord BD is also a diameter. Example number two. Now look at the illustration. Let's identify the parts of the circle. Our center is point E. So the name of the circle is circle E. We have four radii. Line segment EF, line segment EG, line segment EH, and line segment EJ. We have two chords. Line segment GJ and line segment FH. We also have two diameters. 
line segment GJ and line segment FH. As you can see, chords and diameters are the same. Because in our given example, the chords passes through the center. Therefore, this is also a diameter. Example number 3. Look at the illustration. Our center is point X. So the name of the circle is Circle X. We have four radii. Line segment XV, line segment XW, line segment XY, and line segment XZ. We have three chords. Line segment VY, line segment WZ, and line segment VW. We have two diameters. Line segment VY, and line segment WZ. As you can see, line segment VW is just a chord. It is not a diameter because it didn't pass through the center. Tangent. Tangent is a line that intersects a circle at only one point. This point is called the point of tangency. For example, this ball is a circle and this plastic tube is a line. This tube hits the ball at this point and this point is called point of tangency. Second, second is a line that intersects a circle at two points. I have a hat that represents a circle and a thread that represents a line. I will intersect the line in the circle. I will intersect the line at the circle two times. Second. Example number one. Look at the given illustration. This is circle S. The tangent line is line NT. The point of tangency is point N. Because this is where the tangent line hits the circle. Second line, line EC. Example number 2. Look at the illustration. This is circle P. Our tangent line is line QT. The point of tangent C is point Q. And our second line is line RS. Example number 3. Look at the illustration. This is circle M. Our tangent line is line XY. And the point of tangent C is point Y. Our second line is line NX and line NY. Classifications of arcs. Arc. Arc of a circle is a part of a circle from any of its points denoted by the symbol. For example, this ball is a circle and this face mask is an arc. At one point and from another point of a circle, this is an arc. Classifications of arcs Minor arc Minor arc is an arc of a circle that measures less than a semicircle. It is named using two capital letters, the endpoints of an arc. Now I have here an illustration. I have here a biscuit container and a necktie. If this covers the biscuit container, this one is a minor arc. Major arc. Major arc is an arc of a circle that measures greater than a semicircle. 
it is named using three capital letters, the two endpoints and the another point on the arc. Again, a biscuit container and a necktie. This is the first endpoint and it covers more than half of the circle. Major arc. Semicircle. Semicircle, an arc whose measure is one half of the circumference of the circle. It is named using three capital letters, the two endpoints, and another point on the arc. Now I have your ball that represents a circle. I will cover the half of the ball. Now this one is a semicircle. Example number one. Let's use the given figure. This is circle G. We have two minor arcs, arc HJ and arc IJ. We have three major arcs, arc HIJ, arc IHJ, and arc HIK. And we have two semicircles, arc HKI and arc HJI. Example number two. Now look at the illustration. This is circle P. We have four minor arcs, arc QR, arc RS, arc ST, and arc QT. We also have four major arcs, arc QSR, arc RTS, arc SQT, and arc QRT. We have four semicircles, semicircle QRS, Semicircle RST, Semicircle QTS, and Semicircle TQR. Central Angle A central angle of a circle is an angle whose vertex is on the center of the circle. Inscribe Angle an inscribed angle of a circle is an angle whose vertex is on the circle. Example number one. Look at the illustration. The name of the circle is Circle I. Our central angle is angle CIS because its vertex is the center of the circle. Our inscribed angle is angle CES. Its vertex lies to the side of the circle. Sample number 2. Look at the illustration. The name of the circle is circle P. Our central angles are angle QPR and angle RPS because its vertex is the center of the circle. We have two inscribed angles, angle TQS and angle QSR. Example number three. Here is the illustration. This is circle X. Our central angles are angle YXZ and angle WXV. We have five inscribed angles. Angle YVZ, angle VYZ, angle WYV, angle VZY, and angle WVZ. References I hope that you have learned a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye.
Bye. Bye.